GCSE physics. The first law is what I call, it's the inertia law, okay? What's inertia? You can almost tell from the name what inertia is. It comes from the same word where we get inert. What does it mean when something is inert? It means, well, it means what, um, what Taylor Swift talks about in that song, which is so in my head right now, very frustrating, right? What is it? Hate is gonna hate. Oh. <laughs> fake is gonna fake. There's another one. What's the other one? <laughs> Heartbreak is gonna break. That's right. Okay, now, here's the point. If something's doing something, it doesn't want to change, right? Inert means don't, don't change me. Whatever I'm doing, let me do it, right? So inertia, let me put some more formal language on it, right? It's that um, things want to keep doing whatever they're doing. And we're not talking about people. We're talking about objects, particles, bodies, okay? Physics people, tell me if I'm doing anything. This is what inertia is, right? You happy with that? Cool, okay, good. Now. This is, this, is, um, this is what it's about. This is my informal way of saying it. Let me give you the formal first law of um, Newton's first law of motion. Okay? Now, by the way, it's one sentence, but I'm going to break it up into four clauses so that we can explain it. Okay? So, here's how it works. Clause one, a body remains <clears throat> at rest or in uniform straight line motion clause 2 clause 3 unless it is acted on fourth and last by a non-zero resultant force end quote okay so Let's look at this. Uh, a body, so that's their, that's their word for a particle, object, it's all interchangeable, something, okay? It remains, so if you can see, it, it wants to keep doing whatever it's doing, right? It doesn't want to change. That is its inclination, that's what inertia means, okay? At rest, or in uniform straight line motion, these are the two alternatives for not changing. Right? Either I'm not moving and I don't want to move, or I'm moving, I'm just, I'm just tracking along and I want to keep on doing the exact same thing. I'm not turning, I'm not accelerating, I'm not slowing down, uniform in a straight line. Right? So these are the, the two versions of not changing. That's what they look like. Okay? Unless it's acted on, so something Something must influence it, right? Something must influence it from the outside, right? And that outside thing we call is a force, but importantly, you need to wrap your head around this. It must be a non-zero resultant force. So you remember, we were talking before about me standing here and not moving, okay? So I'm, I'm remaining at rest. The reason why is because there are two forces acting on me, one up and one down. Right? But the result of the two forces, right? let's, let's draw it, very anatomically accurate, okay? You've got, you've got gravity pulling down, right? and then you've got the floor, or specifically the electromagnetic force that holds together the atoms there, pushing back up on you. Okay? And these two exactly cancel out. The resultant force is zero. right? So in order to actually get me moving, to overcome my inertia, right, either gravity's got to get stronger or I've got to get on a trampoline or something like that so that the resultant force is going in some other direction. Does that make sense? 